Welcome to Lake TV's Lake Area High School Basketball Coaches Show, the new high school basketball season off and running. And the Coach Basketball Show brought to you by the great folks at COMC. Also, Hy-Vee, both in Osage Beach and Jefferson City, our veterinary at the lake, and the O'Sullivan Bruce Group, part of REMAX Lake of the Ozarks. And with us uh, here on the show now, we've got the head coach of the Warsaw Wildcats. You can see him supporting the green there. It's Scott Floyd. Coach Floyd, thank you for joining us. Hey, this is fun. Yeah. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Appreciate your coming down Highway 7 to, to join us here on Lake TV. So the Warsaw Wildcats, you guys come off uh, a year last year, bit of a struggle, 7-14, and 14, I right. think, last year. So uh, what are you looking at this year you're looking at some people coming back and something to build on from last year we had we've got two returning starters uh coming back in george montez and brady slavens unfortunately brady is injured right now Ooh. uh he got injured in the last quarter the last football game uh kind of messed his meniscus up so we expect him back uh after christmas uh, and he's healing right now. But uh, we've got George, and then we've got a slew of freshmen playing for us. Wow. Yeah, we've got uh, four that are in the rotation. Uh, they are a good group, but uh, they're learning right now. Wow, if you've got four freshmen putting in serious time, there's a little bit of good and bad with that, right? I mean, uh, good is the future is looking pretty strong, but uh, right now a lot of inexperience. It is. It's kind of like ripping the Band-Aid off. Do you want to do it slowly? you want to do it quickly? And we're doing it quickly in this case. Yeah. But uh, you're exactly right. They're learning uh, on the fly. But uh, they've got a very good attitude. Uh, and they know that it's going to get uh, murky. But uh, they're willing to, to fight and uh, get better. Absolutely. Now, you guys start off the season with your own tournament there, I we think, did. the Warsaw Tournament. And that thing's been around for almost 90 years, I, I think. I think you're right. I think uh, this year was the 89th. Wow. A little bit of tradition there. Huh? It is. And, you know, in, in this day and age, uh, tournaments aren't really the thing to do because they're so hard to schedule. Yeah. You know, a lot of teams go to shootouts and uh, single-day events. But we're very lucky that uh, we are able to have that and host it for this long. Yeah, absolutely. And it's kind of nice to be able to stay at home early on and, and play in a tournament like that. So, uh, so tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been at Warsaw? This is my fifth year. I have been coaching for the last 29 years. Wow. I've been in education that long. Um, I did not go into education right away. I went into business. I worked at State Farm and my high school basketball coach, Jim Scanlon, called me up and needed an assistant coach. I'm like, yeah, I can do that. I'll help out and work at State Farm at the same time. We had a very successful year and I enjoyed it. And I thought, well, this is pretty easy. I, I can do this. <laughs> and uh, so I went back to school and uh, got a teaching degree. So I went into education at that point, started out at North Callaway, went to Mexico, I've uh, been at West Strand and uh, Boonville and now at Warsaw. Wow, so you've moved around a little bit, but all right. kind of in the area. That is exactly right. And I'm from Columbia, so I wanted to stay central, so to speak. Yeah. And I've uh, been able to do that. Absolutely. So, uh, so you're a Columbia guy. That means you must be a Mizzou Tiger guy, right? So for 48 years, we had season football tickets, and my Saturdays <laughs> were booked. Yeah. Uh, and I have traveled... Oh, man, all across the Midwest to follow the Tigers. Yeah. A huge Mizzou fan. Nice over the years. So uh, you've had to put up with some good and some bad. I mean, uh, during the Pinkle years, you had some great years with the Tigers, and, and then there's right. been a few lean years in there, too. Oh, I mean, it goes back all the way to Onofrio and Powers that I remember going to the games. Yeah, it's, wow. there's, yeah, it's been more <laughs> lean than good. but. So what uh, what do you like your team? What's your style? Do the Wildcats, are you run and gun? Are you slow it down? What do you like to do? We, we like to adapt to what the competition poses. I, I think a good team can play at different paces. Uh, but what do we try to do in particular? We try to uh, take care of the ball, yeah. play solid half-court defense, and uh, hopefully shoot good. We can't always control that, but we try to take good shots. Yeah, and you get a little bit of everything around here. I mean, you get, you know, the, the teams that slow her down and, you know, get into their offense, and you got to be ready for that. And then you got teams like Versailles. They're just flying around, running and gunning all the right. time. And, and that's exactly why we want to be able to adapt, because once you get to district play, uh, you're going to get a bunch of different styles. So, you know, at that point in the season, can you uh, – 
mix and match and, yeah. and try to adapt to what the other team is doing and then play to your strengths. Absolutely. So we're talking with uh, Coach Scott Floyd from Warsaw, the Wildcats, and we'll have more with Coach Floyd right after this. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offers routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. With multiple convenient locations, Our Veterinary is the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Your time on the water is limited and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. The winds are blowing and the temperature's dropping. You know what that means. It's time for high school basketball on Lake TV. Our broadcast schedule is set for our best season yet. Live high school basketball with Wild Will and Uncle Chris on Lake TV. Join us for the COMC pregame show 15 minutes before tip-off. Catch all the action on Como Channel 90 and streaming live on Lake TV's Facebook page and at MyLakeTV.com. It's also free to watch on Roku and Amazon Fire Stick. Join us for high school basketball on Lake TV. Hey, Jess. Yeah, Nicole, what do you need? Did you see that new listing in Sunrise Beach? Yeah, it was just listed two minutes ago. It has 150 feet of lakefront. And a brand new kitchen. I'm headed out there after I type this email. I'm on the phone with my clients. Hey, where are you going? I already put an offer in, cash above list, and it's looking good. Are you kidding me? Oh, gosh. Welcome back to the Lake TV High School Basketball Coaches Show. The high school basketball season off and running. We've got Coach Scott Floyd from the Warsaw Wildcats supporting the green there. Uh, and uh, so uh, you're not, a lot of the teams that we cover on Lake TV are in the Tri-County Conference or the Ozark Conference. You're not in either one of those. What conference are you in? We were in the Tri-County. Yeah. We are in the Ozark Highlands Conference. Uh, right now it's a newly formed conference. I think we've been around for three years. It includes Butler, Buffalo, Sherwood, El Dorado Springs, and us. Okay. And you're right, we play a lot of the schools to the west and south, and, and we don't see a lot here. We've still tried to maintain some of the uh, rivalries, such as we play Versailles. Right. Uh, we've got Lebanon on our schedule this year, so, you know, we... we come to the east side every now and then. Right, right. So uh, is it just that you're, you're closer to the teams over there uh, in that conference? It was more of a trip to come on over here? Yeah, absolutely. Not only is it a geographical, but it's a population uh, thing too as well because we really fit in with that, uh, with that group of yeah. schools and um, feel like we can compete in all sports as well. Yeah, absolutely. There's some pretty good schools over there. I mean, the Tri-County has some pretty powerhouses yeah, too, you know, uh, and stuff, but they pretty good teams over there. Butler's been pretty good the last yep. few years and uh, Buffalo pretty strong as well right. the last couple of years. Uh, who are the teams to beat in your conference this year? Well, I think those Eldorado Springs is a, is a, a team that we need to watch out for and so is Buffalo. 
uh, Butler graduated a lot, but they uh, got second in our tournament uh, and impressed me this past week. So I, I think it's very balanced. That's cool. Uh, and, you know, it's interesting. You still get that, uh, that excitement at the start of every season, you know, where uh, here it comes and just so looking forward. And there's something about the smell of the locker room and, yep. you know, and working with the kids. Do you still get that after coaching out all these years? I, not only beginning of the season, but every game. Like, I, I am still nervous. So I've coached, I think, in over 600 games, and I still get nervous. Like, how are we going to do? And it's like a <laughs> test. Are we going to pass or fail? And I feel like I'm res responsible for that. But, uh, yeah, and I, I think that's good. I think you need to – Stay on your tiptoes and stay on your game. Yeah. Who are your big rivals at Warsaw? So, you know, we've developed new rivals with the new conference. I would say uh, probably El Dorado Springs mm -hmm. uh, and Buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo's only about 50 miles away. So right down the road. It is. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And they've had some pretty good teams lately. Yeah, too. not only in uh, basketball, but football as right. well. And speaking of football, you guys had a pretty good football team at Warsaw this year. I think uh, nine and two. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, pretty yep. strong. Does that help the basketball team? Do you get any of those kids coming and playing for you? Absolutely. So we want to be able to share our student athletes at Warsaw. Coach Ryan Boyer, who's also our AD and football coach, uh, does a great job in extending that message. Like we are are going to have good athletes. We have a good uh, uh, weight program. And we feel like if one sport's successful, that the other yeah. sports are going to follow. And we're trying to build that. Um, Coach Boyer's been there five years as well. So, oh, you guys uh, kind of came in together. We did. Yeah. And, uh, again, I can't say enough about him. He does an outstanding job and uh, is very well connected to the community. And, uh, of course, his football team is having a lot of success yeah. as well. Nine and two is pretty good. Uh, what's your goals for the year? What what would you like to accomplish this year? We just want to get better. We want to uh, continue to get be continue to get better throughout the season mm -hmm. and be competitive. Okay. So uh, some fun questions for sure. you. Sure. All, All right. right. Okay. So gotcha. we're into the holiday season here. Uh, you can see we spent a lot of money on our holiday decorations. Uh, so what is your favorite Christmas song? Don't know the name of it, but I'm a huge George Strait fan. Really? Okay. And he's got a song about cookies. Cookies? Yeah. I, I don't know the name of it, but I, I do like that song. We'll have to go and try to find okay. that right. and look that up. It's hard to beat George Strait, right? Oh, yeah. They call him King George That's for a reason. That's exactly right. All right. So uh, do you have a favorite Christmas movie? I do not. I'm not a big movie guy. Oh, really? No, no, no. Wow. Really. no. You're not a Grinch guy or no, a no. Love Actually or a Wonderful Life <laughs> no. or anything like that? No, no. So really. then I'm guessing during the holiday season, you're watching sports, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bowl games, college basketball starts. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely. Am. That kind of is for, for sports people like us, is part of the tradition of, of the holidays, yeah. right? That's ours. I mean, what would, what would Thanksgiving be if you didn't have the football <laughs> game? Exactly right? right. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Uh, how soon do you and your wife, or does your wife make you put up Christmas decorations? She's in charge of that. Yeah. Uh, Thanksgiving. Really? Oh, yeah. Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving or the day after? Shortly before, shortly after, but in, in that time frame. Now, do you supervise? Do you kind of tell her where to put the lights, or is it the other way around? She supervises me to get out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, but that, that gives you more time to go sit on the couch and watch sports. There you go. Hey, absolutely. That's I've right. worked that out myself there. <laughs> Would you rather spend Christmas on a hot, sunny beach or uh, snowy Ozarks? This is easy. Hot or a hot beach. Uh, yeah. I have been to Hawaii seven times, and I tell you what, if, if I could, I'd live there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I, yeah, I love hot weather. Hot, to, uh, t hot, Hard to beat Hawaii. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you make New Year's resolutions? I don't. No. Mm -hmm. I gave up on that? Yeah, I just knew. Did you ever back in the day? Not that I can remember. Okay. Not really. No. That's good. So then you're uh, you're 100%. You haven't <laughs> yeah, yeah. failed on all don't of them. You don't have to live up to anything. Like the rest of us have. Okay. Right. So there you go. You know a little bit more about the Warsaw Wildcats and Coach Scott Floyd. Man, what a pleasure it is to get to know you a little bit more. I know on Lake TV, we'll have 10 high school basketball games for you here on Lake TV this year, including uh, Warsaw Wildcats. So we look forward to that. And Coach, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. You know, like I told you before, I, I actually watched this station and uh, enjoy the uh, production you guys do and 